Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Thank you very much for joining me. Our patient, as you can see, is Surface Pro 7, which is locked. So we need to unlock it. Uh, now if you Google around, you probably find nothing but my videos on object. <laughs> because yeah, the, there is no default password. There is no way to connect the USB um, to, to reset it or anything like that. That's true and some people also say that there's just no way to recover from this. If you forgot the password then you can throw away the computer. Well, if you are, um, if you believe that to be true, and if and you want to throw away this computer, you may as well just send it to me. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll definitely take it, because on these it's not that hard. There are some versions like um, Surface Laptop 3. I've had one of these, but the uh, fit version is I don't remember like 16 or 17 something like that the high version that I don't have so I can't reset the password so in the last one I did I just uploaded a some random BIOS that I found on the internet and surprisingly the touch worked and everything seemed to work all right SSD worked and everything uh, so I shipped it back, uh, and the system did install, right? But as soon as you restart it, you restart the computer, it goes back to, you know, not seeing the system. It just kind of, I don't know, auto-removes the system. I'm not sure what's up with that. It's most likely the ME region issue, very likely. It could also be that there's something else wrong with the machine. It's possible. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so with that one, but it, it can still be done, right? You just need you just need proper version of Flash Image Tool. Um, these ones, they have um, version, I think, 13. Yeah, Surface Pro 4 is version 11. Uh, Surface Pro 7 is version 13. Now the procedure is uh, simple and effective, but to do it you need to have a business. You need to have a business <coughs> because to open it you need business cards. <laughs> well, I guess you can borrow business cards from someone else, but you, you cannot reuse these because the glue is going to stick to these. All right, um, the, the procedure is simple. I've, I showed you guys a few times. Uh, we put 220 on the heat gun, we heat it up, and we put business cards slowly, slowly around without damaging the, without damaging anything. Uh, business cards, these are relatively thick, so you could uh, rip the cable or slice the cable with it. It's possible. Never happened to me, but if you use these, you can definitely slice it. That's why mine is at the angle, as you can see, so it cannot fit any further to make any damage. Uh, but this is just to, to pry it open, and then I switch to the business cards. And in addition, I like to also have another machine, the exact same one, all right, and just sitting opened, so I can see how much room do I, how deep do I have to go. Now the only issue or the the hard part of it is to not rip the antenna. So we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas here or antennae, and it's very easy to slice them. So the only way to avoid that, you need to make sure that the adhesive stays on the case, not on the screen, which should be the default because you're heating the screen you're not heating the case i mean if you have the heat mat you know, that's also very very good it's probably a lot easier with the heat map a lot of you guys suggested it to me after my uh, ipad air 4 fiasco uh, but that was unrelated to heating right the, the heating was good it's the alcohol that i used 
uh, that broke it. Now on these, I typically just uh, completely flood them with alcohol and, and there are no issues. On iPads, there are iPad screens are not sealed. But that's pretty much it. Then we need to just remove, well, we need to remove the heatsink. Under the heatsink, we need to remove this shield on the right. And the BIOS is located here, right here. There's the chip. And that's it. Remove the chip, put it on the programmer. Uh, remove, the, remove the original BIOS region. Put the new BIOS region, keeping the ME and all the other regions intact. Build the image, the whole binary. Flash it again, and, and we're done. So let's get to it.
Alrighty, and we are done. It's um, after a while, <laughs> you know, you feel it in your hand. Because the, the part that takes the longest and the most effort is just removing the old adhesive. And that's pretty much it. The rest is pretty much textbook. I mean, remo screen removal, it can be tricky, especially at first. I remember breaking a lot of these, like either cracking the screen or you know, that kind of stuff. But if you use the business card trick, it's really not that hard. If, it, if it's uh, too hard, if the card doesn't want to slide, just heat it up more, don't fight with it, and it'll let loose. Uh, but one thing that I forgot to mention to the customer, and unfortunately it happened, uh, the antenna. I think I even mentioned that before before I removed it. You see, uh, one, the right antenna ripped off. It came along with the screen in there, right? So it ripped off because uh, it uh, adhered to the screen instead of to the device. And there's no way to kind of ensure that the antenna doesn't stay on the on the screen, that it always stays on the device. There's just sometimes it happens and there's no technician that can avoid that, or at least not to my knowledge. And it rips, right? I replaced it. Um, so, and I forgot to mention that, that this could be an issue. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to send you a um, link, which will be an open link. Okay. The default value will be what we agreed. But you have an option of like throwing a tip over there for <laughs> for the antenna replacement. And that's how we're going to do it. I mean, if you don't, it's just, I'm not going to I'm not going to come after you. No worries. But I just want to give you an option because, you know, technically I should have mentioned that because uh, this is not like it's a technician's error, right? Like the, if I crack the screen, that's definitely my fault. I would replace the screen at my cost. But with antennas, unfortunately, that that is the case. And now one uh, one last thing that the customer kind of wanted me to to use like a super glue or silicon or something to glue the screen because I always say that once the screen is replaced or removed and replaced, it will never, uh, the adhesive will never work the same. But in this case, I used the, the, like the highest quality adhesive that is available for these machines. It's actually, it's not cheap. I don't remember how much exactly, but it's not cheap, but it was just sitting in my shop and, uh, I didn't really need it, so I didn't really even charge for that. But I think that the adhesive alone is like 40 bucks uh, for this. It's a, it's a really high quality adhesive. And now it is clamped down. I will be moving the clamps here and there. And as you move it, right, you feel where there's some bulging. Also, if you look at the screen at the angle and look at something that is straight, right and then you can see where the bulges are if there's any bulging at the at the rims right and the edges just move the clamp clamp it down and it'll go away what i'm gonna do right now yeah i feel it over here so we clamp it down not too hard you don't want to break it and keep the clamp on in addition what i do i also use the hair dryer and i heat it up slightly that uh, makes the adhesive just loosen a little and adhere a lot better. So this should be good. I don't think we need to, I don't think we need to use super glue. <laughs> no worries. But the, the BIOS password is gone. That is the procedure. I do not recommend anyone doing that, but on Surface Pro 7s actually, it does make sense, especially on this one, because I did ask the customer which version it is. If it was uh, the version, what was it? Well, the, the smaller versions with like i5 CPU and like four gigs of memory, it's not worth it. But this is the i7 with eight or 16 gigs of, uh, of memory 
and like 500 gigs of of storage so it's definitely worth on on these but that's pretty much it uh it only took three hours <laughs> can you imagine no i would not make money on this uh, but the only reason i even accepted it is because the customer is a member of our community so as a member you get you get some perks and some of those perks are i'll take your device i'll fix your device even though it's um it's not really worth it Alrighty, thank you fellas very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i shall see you in the next one